Mississippi is a meandering river. Meandering rivers cave their banks and present a menace to nearby levees, farms, and industrial areas. These caving banks present the engineer with one of his most perplexing problems. The soft soil through which the Mississippi flows is easily eroded, allowing the river to migrate in long loops through the valley. In the lower valley, revetments are used to protect the levees. The first step in revetment construction is to grade the rough bank with drag lines mounted on barges. The bucket digs into the steep bank and flattens its slope carrying the material down into the stream. When the rough operation is completed, more machines begin the final grading operation. This revetment extends several hundred feet into the stream. A four-inch gravel blanket is placed where the bank is subject to wave action. This prevents leaching of soft clay and silt through the revetment. The revetment itself is made up of flexible mat sections. Modern production line techniques are employed. The first step is to lay down a paper separator. The wire mat acts as a reinforcing fabric. Then slotted steel forms are laid and the fabric is drawn up into the slots and the forms are locked. Before concrete is poured, the forms are sprayed with oil to keep them from sticking when the concrete's removed. Here is an open air assembly line a fleet of mixer trucks which moves down the forms, filling them with concrete. Men follow the machines to finish the sections. Each man on this job walks 10 miles during his eight hour day. Finished units are then stockpiled in the field and left to cure. From the field, the revetment units are carried on barges to the site of revetment construction. Here they are assembled on the platform of a sinking barge. Cranes lift the units and swing them onto the wave. Then the workers slide them on rollers into the required position. Each unit is securely attached to its mate. Then the entire section is launched to form one continuous mattress. The concrete mattress extends from slightly above the water line beyond the deepest part of the channel. In many cases, these revetment mattresses are more than 600 feet long. When the protective mattress has been lowered to the river floor, the cables are cut.
Then the assembly barge moves upstream to place a new section. This is a highly specialized operation. It requires special equipment, which can only be used in this type of work. Much river work is done by private contractors under the supervision of the engineer corps. But this operation is done by the corps itself with hired labor. of the upper bank begins when the underwater part of the revetment has been laid. A mixture of asphalt cement and sand is normally used for this purpose. conveyor carries the asphalt cement sand mixture from the floating asphalt plant to trucks on the bank. Then the trucks move away to dump their loads into steel sleds. pulled up the bank, leaving behind a layer of uncompacted sand asphalt. This blanket, overlapping the concrete mattress, completes the revetment which is now ready to help guide the course of the river. And so, the master plan goes forward. <laughs> 